Yeah, so I went over the next day to visit Mikey and kind of touch base with him and see how he felt. Hey, Mikey. Hey, what's going on? How's it going? I think we can do a little better. Yeah? Yeah, I'm surprised to see you. Thank you for coming. You surprised to see me? Yeah. Shoot, I was the only one who helped you out. I had a few family members come to stop by and see how I was doing, but when it comes to, you know, the group, and surprisingly, it was Chris. I can believe that. Mm-hmm. You know, he was like, they came, he's like, that's how you pass out, and they got the fuck on. I was like, the story of my life, I'm not really surprised, but. You know, from the reports that I got, Chris was legit trying to save my life. I'm happy to see him. <sighs> well, I mean, that's unfortunate, because they were still playing music and everything, and just still taking pictures and everything. I'm like, this could be a life-threatening situation. I, I've been telling you, sorry. That's kind of why I've been distancing myself from like people. Like, I feel like I want to do this party in a way to kind of like give my friends the opportunity to get together and do stuff. But um, it's just like, it's just like, I'm more embarrassed than anything. Like, that's how I felt. I felt. What makes you feel embarrassed? Because. I don't like to come off as a weak person. Being motivated by ego and worrying about other people's perceptions and opinions can really run you ragged. And um, so, one of the things I know I, I do talk to a therapist, one of the things she said would be good for me to do is to get out of nature. I know you do like a lot of stuff out of nature, so. I'm trying to learn to have some peace about myself because I'm not a very peaceful person on the inside. Mm -hmm. Some of you going somewhere like, a hike or a okay. Let me know. Okay. Uh, we can do I that. Thank you for coming to see me. Yes. That really means of course. Right. I'm, I'm glad and thank you for um, helping me. Like, I, I, I wish I love you, Chris. Being aware of who's in my life, being careful about who I call friend. So, as I'm getting out of my car and walking up to the door, Chris is coming out. Uh, so, as I'm leaving, I see Carl coming in. So, I just wanted to. Touch base with him again. What's going on, sir? What's up? How are you? You know, I'm all right. Chilling. Yeah. It's early, you know. Good to see you. Yeah. Tell me about it. How's she doing up in there? He's doing good. Okay. You know, he's just kind of recapping and, mm. you know, I guess over um, replaying what happened. So when you go up in there, just be kind and just make sure that when he goes in to talk to Mikey that he comes from a place of love and kindness because... Why do I think I'm gonna be mean? No, I'm not gonna be mean. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna have compassion today. You know, I think he was a little bit embarrassed, so... Mm -hmm. and it's I understandable. Understand. Yes, <laughs> but, okay. All Good right, you. well you two, see Good you later. Day. Let me Bye. go holler at this girl up in here. That was my first question. I didn't know, like, is he doing this for attention or does he, did he really pass out? Sister Fannin? Sister Fannin? I'm upstairs, Lord have mercy. <laughs> Carl comes to see me. I'm completely surprised that Carl's coming. First off, I hear him coming in because he's yelling out the door. Oh, hey, uh. Hey, what's going on? What's going on? How you feeling? So, you know, I'm gonna go in there with an open mind and an open heart. I thought I'd come over instead of, you know, I called and your phone wasn't picking up, so. Um, my phone got lost. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, how you feeling? Yeah, yeah, she looked a little oh. bit So I felt a little bad because I was thinking that the shit wasn't real. Okay, what happened? No one told me what happened. So. Well, what people don't know is, you know, trying that thing. I have heart palpitations. My heart actually beats faster mm. than people's and mm -hmm. I did not take care of myself properly and I passed out. Oh, okay, that makes sense. I'm surprised you came over that. Why is everybody, why am I getting that? Like I'm just this mean per I'm not mean. The last few weeks, you've been constantly attacking me. You haven't been a good friend recently. To be honest with you, like lately you've been really like nasty towards me. When you sat there and said that she heard or you, that, I, that I fucked Brandon or something that we used to fuck. Let me just clarify right now. That's never been the case. Mind you, I'm sitting here trying to be sensitive to the fact that you just passed out the other night and I'm trying to check on you. So in the midst of that, you're asking you're asking me questions about, you know, the you and you and um Brandon situation. Like I was thinking like I like I was gonna say I ain't got that from you. Yeah. Now yeah, I didn't tell you we had sex or anything like that. I didn't say I never said that. You did though. You said it at the party. I'm gonna check him for going and telling Sean that me and Brandon 
used to have sex. Under no circumstance have I ever told Carl that I had sex with Brendan Carson. I say, you know, I was going, what I'm saying is that the vibe that I'm getting between you two is that vibe? I've never given you that vibe, that anything's gone on between us. You know, you had did make you definitely made it seem like y'all had dated at one point. That's what I had got. No, I liked him. I had a crush on him. There's more mm. to that story that I'm just not gonna deal with. Okay. Um. So his boyfriend has like this animosity towards me, like feeling threatened or whatnot, feeling like I'm trying to get Brandon from him or that I have an issue with him. This all I wanted this is the only issue. The only issue that I was having was that the fact that like I said, we did hear the rumors about you and Brandon, but then when I did talk to you about it, it was led to me that y'all were more than just friends. So mm. I need you to be my friend and start back acting like it. Because I don't want us to be enemies. That don't do no good for nobody. That doesn't. It really doesn't. I agree. That's why I came over here now. Like I said, we're not. We're, let's, let's talk about all this. We just. I here to make. That's why I came over here to check on you. I'm trying to have sympathy for this bitch right now, and she telling me like, "Oh, you need to do this, and you shouldn't have done that, and how dare you this?" And how I'm like, "Girl, I'm here to. I'm here to love on you." You know, the thick and shut in. I'm just here to, you know, I'm a cool mom. You know, came over here to check on you. You know, doing my. You, you know, I don't want to have nobody having problems thinking I'm just a messy right. ass he, bitch. He, he, he ain't been here since that situation. Oh, because okay. Th that just rubbed his boyfriend the wrong way, so he's been trying to deal with that. And that's fine, because okay. I believe in giving couples a space when they have a fight or whatnot. Okay. Well, I know Brent, uh, I've been, I've reached out to him to see if he's doing it. If he's mending things with his men. Are they all right? They good? Are they happy together? They're very happy. Okay. Why, why are you asking me? I'm just, a just asking questions here. I mean, I just want to make sure. Because, you know, if I was when we were having a little conversation, I just, you know, I don't know. I was. One thing I am going to start doing, though, is taking people out the VIP seats in my life and taking them and putting them in venues outside of my presence. Because everybody... And as always, thank you for your outpour of love and support. You're watching Red Life.